So everybody, this is another Tokyo Tour Mario Kart video, and this one I'm going to be playing Makiti Cup in the background along with my commentary. So with that, I will resume kind of where I left off with, I think I was mainly talking about the my opinions on the game mainly, so I, I'll kind of run over those mainly in this video commentary but I mean it'll it'll kind of be different as we go along that's why and I was I was debating this too I don't know if I should put like the commentary ideas I planned or I thought I might do in each video in the titles because um I mainly want the videos to kind of be circulated around the game kind of like the footage as like the main attraction but at the same time you know, depending on if I start getting more plans out, then maybe I'll add those to the titles. But otherwise, it'll just kind of be a little random. But uh, something I do not believe I clarified, and I've been meaning to clarify in the last video, is the reason that my commentary is not in unison with the gaming footage like it normally is. Um, I decided it was more or less just kind of a better um, idea to... Just kind of have it playing in the background, and then I kind of go with whatever I'm feeling like talking about at the time, you know, recording, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, yeah, we'll just take it from there. So, to kind of get my... I'm going to kind of give a little review of the game. So, I'm going to start off by giving the things that I think Nintendo did really well with this game. Number one is definitely the slot machine. Like, right now I got the Frenzy in the gaming footage that was an amazing idea especially you know that'll encourage people to um get those three star character like to get those characters that'll give them three items to get the frenzy like uh once i actually got a frenzy with the bowser shell i don't believe i got that on video on any of the footage i took but i know it did happen once and i think i might have just been trying to get more grand stars or something to unlock new cups but with that, that that's, that's something I think they did very well with. Uh, the music's actually really good, too. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's not like all Mario Kart 8 up, like, where everything is jazzy and whatnot, you know. That was an amazing feature, I think, that they did. But this kind of has its own thing. It's almost like 3DS, except a little more... Little, it's, like, it's like a mix of 3DS and Wii U type music, which I honestly don't mind at all. I think it, they actually did an amazing job with it. So, there's that. And then, I also like the new mission mode thing, and then those challenges. I think they were an amazing way to get people to continue playing, you know, especially those who just don't, well, you wanna, I guess they just don't wanna do, if they just don't wanna do racing, you know, there's a little more variety. Plus the grand stars and the rupees and all those. Those are all nice and dandy too, you know. I'm one. I'm a. I'm someone who, when I play a video game, I like having a goal and I like collecting things. Like, I I love the idea of collecting things in video games and with the grand stars, you know that definitely helps out. I definitely enjoy collecting those grand stars. I mean, yeah, a lot of them can be really hard. Uh, I know there's a race that has like, requires six thousand grand uh points to get a grand star or something. But I mean, with practice and the right character combos and all that, it probably isn't too bad. Um, I'm not too focused on getting all those presents, though, because I, I'm mainly just focused on unlocking all the cups for each tour, because those are what I'll be making my videos off of. And mainly, I'm just playing this game, because I mean, it's just kind of like another Mario Kart game. really isn't too much to it, other than it being on like a mobile device, which I honestly think was... Um, it I'm I'm impressed with the way they managed to get it to work. You know, there definitely could have been some changes that I originally thought were going to be added to the game, which I'll specify later uh, when I get to my cons of the game. But either way, the graphics, especially for being on a mobile device, I know games are probably, you know, games can be very good graphic-wise. And... um uh, like on mobile devices, and I do think that, I mean, the graphics are pretty crisp, actually. You know, they're not as glossy, I feel, as the, um, 
a Wii U or Switch, which I honestly don't mind because I, I kind of get tired of the jazz and glossiness after a while. But um, I, I still like it a lot. It's just over time, you know, it's, it's good to have some change, you know. But I do, for those who do like the jazz and the glossy finishes and everything, I definitely think they were an amazing touch. You know, they, they definitely ma gave the Wii U and the Switch some identity, especially for the Wii U before the Switch came out. But, you know, they definitely, they definitely got some identity from that, I feel like. But, I mean, this is kind of like a mix between the, the 3DS and the, uh, what's it called? The the Wii U Switch generation, I feel like. You know, I wonder when, you know, if when they do come out with, like, a new console, Mario Kart, and they add uh, Mario Kart 8 uh, tracks, I wonder if they're going to put it under Wii U, Switch, or maybe even both. Maybe they'll do um, the new... Maybe those are like the DLC Wii U tracks as Switch tracks because they came with the game right away. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting off topic with that, but I think that might not be a bad idea. But now we're going to get into more into some of the cons. I feel the game has uh, some cons to the game. Number one is by far the, the overusage of tracks. I feel like they reuse the tracks so many times it's not even funny. You know, it's good to put in some variety, but, you know, playing 3DS Mario Circuit, or heck, even Yoshi Circuit, which is one of my favorite tracks of all time, you know, I still like it, playing it a lot. I mean, it's a fun track and all, Yoshi Circuit, but, you know, I definitely would like to see some more variety. Say they put in, oh, I don't know, maybe the GameCube Luigi Circuit, that would be cool. Or maybe if they're not going to do, like, a circuit track, what they could do is, um... I'm trying to think of what they could put in. Maybe... Now, why would you pinball's already done? You see, the thing is, they're already doing um, tracks, like retro tracks, like Yoshi Circuit's been remade at this point uh, three times. And then there's SNES Rainbow Road, which has been made five times. You know, that's... That, that's, that's, that's a lot, to say the least. It's been... Or not remade, but, like, it's been made uh, five times. And the thing is, they all they do is either they put it in reverse, they add a few ramps here and there, and they call the tracks new, when in reality it's just, well, it's just uh, Yoshi Circuit with a few ramps. Or it's something like, oh, it's Rainbow Road, except without the thwomps, you know. Oh, boy, so special. It really isn't. You know, the more I think about it, the more, you know, I I'm starting to think, you know, they're just... Nintendo's just showing pure laziness with this. And I honestly think that that's disgraceful. I'm not going to lie. Please, call, call me picky if you want, but, you know, I definitely, when I first heard of the new Mario Kart, like, oh man, there's going to be a new Mario Kart game coming out. I thought it was going to be, you know, 16 cups with uh, eight new tracks and, uh, or not not eight new tracks, with, um, or not, not, wait, did I say 16 cups? I think I did. Um, I meant to say, um, eight cups with, like, 16 races for, um, like, 16 new tracks and then, um, eight retro tracks. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if they remade some of them, tra some of the tracks, you know, to accommodate for the, uh, handheld, uh, feel. Like, say someone's playing this on their phone or something. You know, I get it. It's not going to be comfortable to play for a while, but, you know, and everything has their point where it just doesn't. How do I say this? It just. I, I'm, I'm running out of uh, words, I guess. It, it's just frustrating, I guess, because, I mean, yeah, the whole tour thing was cool and all. But the tracks are just reused. Like the Tokyo track, the, the Tokyo tour has like one new track that's reused so many times. Come on, it, you gotta you gotta put in some sort of variety. You know you can't just you you can't just be so lazy like that. You know I don't mind that this that like there's this mission mode thing. Like I was saying before, I think that's really cool. Like right now, this is a mission mode thing. I actually think that was actually kind of cool. They added that to the end of the track, or to the end of the cups. So it's kind of like a reward almost. You know, that, that was nice and cool. 
kind of like um it was in the oh another I was about to say the Diddy Kong battle mode type thing but that's another thing this game is missing battle mode in my opinion what's Mario Kart without battle mode you know especially since this is on a mobile device you can connect to people online much easier like it it can be much easier than just using like a Nintendo Online or something like that, because your device will probably already have the ability to connect online. So, why wouldn't they put in, like, a battle mode and with the multiplayer? It just doesn't make sense to me. But everybody, this video is about to end, and I'll continue in the next one. Thank you for watching.